Can you talk a little bit more about how decentralizing cloud computing in this way benefits businesses and people? I grew up in India on a farm, right? So for me to get access to a computer was very, very prohibitive. I didn't own a computer till I was in college, really. But I did learn how to code when I was eight, uh, mostly through books. And information was very hard to get by, right? So if you put someone like me, right now there are, there are millions of kids uh, without access to that level of computer uh, computing, right? And as, as you know, the needs of a developer is increasingly getting bigger and the needs of and the data size that we're processing is is exponential i believe doubling every two years while there is this enormous amounts of, of demand for computing uh the ad where you have this enormous um, supply for computing uh, i don't see a reason why this supply should not meet demand and i don't see a reason why we have middlemen taking advantage of this demand and essentially seeking rent and essentially controlling a lot. So right now about 81% of market share is controlled by four companies, right? And it is about to be a trillion dollar market by 2025. It is a massive market. And if you think about cloud, everything today goes on the cloud. It is a fabric for today's society. So when you see how important it is, the kind of role it plays in our daily lives without even realizing everyone pays an Amazon tax, right? It's invisible tax. Right. So if you look at how important that is, um, and if you look at how big it's going to grow and the demand is increasing, and if you look at it, there's enormous supply that's actually there, I just don't, I think it's, it's a dumb problem uh, to, to connect supply with demand. And the result is obviously the cost benefit because what happens when you supply meets demand, right? You're going to see uh, a cost reduction because that's just nature of uh, nature economics. So yes, I think, um, and if you 